I used to be in your place. I used to sit in a chair in front of Miss Jackson's class. Just Both like of my daughters had her in class. The significance of what you are being taught and what you're being understood is not out of the book. It's a personality like this that can cause you to want to. The rest of your lives, you're going to be compelled and, and to make someone else do better. It's the way of the world. And very few people have that gift, the gift to inspire you to do better. She's very hands-on and she shows us things. She doesn't just teach us out of the book. She, she um, explains us to real world situations. So, and... let me ask you this. Have you ever picked up a basketball? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot some hoops. It's been a while. What? And you go like this and it just stays there? Yeah. I know this because I coach seventh grade basketball and sometimes they were flat. So what do you do? Run and get a needle in an air pump? Yes. <laughs> Can you always find a needle in an air pump? Yes. No. So if you start bouncing it really, really hard, about 10 times, and then you go like this, oh, it comes back up. I did what, Colin? Oh, what? Particles started moving. I increased the temperature. Did I increase the volume? Nope, basketball still a basketball size. So you started bouncing it, the temperature went up, the collisions started happening, and when the collisions start happening, what happened? Pressure. Pressure went up. I just always tried to remember what it was like to learn, and I always thought, would this be something I'd want to learn? I don't like to necessarily just have them always sitting in their seats. I think if they're up doing things, it's better. Why are we tie-dyeing today? Thursday. And when was the first one? Oh, y'all are good. And uh, so what does that have to do with tie-dye? Why, what, why does that have to do with the... Uh, you know, definitely. Definitely tie-dye was big in the 70s. And because then we're doing it in chemistry, why? Because it's bonds. Because of bonding, yes. I would never want to go to science class. I would always look forward to basketball or to to English class or something like that. I never really had the joy for, for you know, science like that. So when, when science comes, I actually like, it. I actually enjoy coming to this class. I don't. If, if any time we have students that sometimes miss classes, Miss Jackson's class is not a class that they want to miss. She likes to be hands-on and she makes it to where you can see what you're learning instead of just reading out of a book and writing things down. It's hard. So every October the 23rd I do or close to October the 23rd, we do Mole Day. It's celebrated internationally uh, in chemistry classes because uh, a mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of anything. It's called Avogadro's number. And so they get the opportunity to make a mole and it has to have a mole theme. And so we have Bob Moley instead of Bob Marley. There's always uh, a rendition of Holy Moly. There's that one and then there's this one. Oh, I love the Pil Pillsbury Mole Boy. Karen is an amazing teacher because she, she makes learning fun. They do tie-dye shirts. She teaches chemistry. She teaches really hard subject areas for kids maybe that aren't so well, aren't so gifted in science, but she makes it fun. She makes it attainable. She makes it reasonable for them to learn. Chemistry was always my favorite. Of course, my, my chemistry science teacher in high school was, if we'd had influential educators, he probably would have been mine. She gets to know everybody really well and actually she comes to a lot of my games and supports me and is there outside of the classroom too and that's something that not hardly any teachers do. Karen coaches cross country. She's at the volleyball game. She's at the football game. She's at the band concert. She's at the choir concert because she truly loves her kids. She cares about us and, and, and I mean, an awful, she, an awful lot. She really does. One afternoon, I went in to finish a test, and what she did was she uh, kept me a little bit afterwards, and she talked about what I wanted to do after college. Uh, talking about my, my future, she, I mean, she almost broke into tears. She was really sincere about it. She, she I, could, I could feel that she cared, and I personally almost broke into tears about it because how much care and how much support she gives you. I mean, it's, it's something that you don't find in every teacher. And I mean, like I said, she's exemplary. She's, she's great.
They are special to me. I love my kids. I think, and I've, I've said this a, a thousand times, and especially here near the end of my career, that the best part of my job is the kids. The students I work with, year in, year out. And I, I just, I just like them. <laughs> They're, uh, I don't know, I can't talk about <laughs> that I do like them and I don't, I, I do like being with them. I think I'll know when it's time to retire whenever I, I forget what it's like to learn. There's a reason why we didn't take that path. You are so funny. Don't make me look goofy. No, I don't like everything. <laughs> I don't like math. <laughs> no, I don't think it's time to retire yet. Because? Because I still have, um, I still like what I do. I still like what I do. <laughs>